Shares of Archer Aviation getting a lift today after the electric aircraft company struck a deal with NASA collaborating on battery technology. It's been a bit of a bumpy ride recently, but shares are up ni nearly 90% over the past year. Joining us now, Archer Aviation founder and CEO Adam Goldstein. Adam, it's great to have you on. Um, we're talking about eVTOLs. We're talking about electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, something you have been developing for a number of years. You've got your first aircraft, Midnight, already doing test flights right now. What does this deal with NASA enable? Yeah, well, thanks for having me on the show. So we're building these vehicles to really launch a new category called urban air mobility, where we will be replacing trips that are 20 to 50 miles on the ground that take 60 to 90 minutes by car with trips in the air that can be replaced with five to 10 minute trips. And this announcement that we had with NASA is really exciting because NASA was actually one of the places that helped create some of the origins of this industry in eVTOL. They were the first ones to figure out how to fly planes using multiple electric motors. And so this deal with NASA was really focused around showing the safety and validity of these vehicles. And we're specifically starting with battery cells. It is interesting because you think of NASA, you think of space specifically, but NASA is developing technologies and capabilities that have air travel applications as well, to your point. So I guess the question this raises, raises for me is if you are already doing flight tests, you're already working, I'd imagine, with the FAA to get to an approval as you look to delivery for next year, what does working with NASA mean in terms of being able to get to some of those regulatory hurdles being realized sooner, or does it? Yeah, so working with NASA will really help validate a lot of the safety systems that we already have in place. So we're working with lithium ion batteries that are very similar to the batteries that are used in EVs today. But when you move vehicles into the air, you can't have any incidents at all. You can't just pull over on the side of the road like you can with a car. And so by working with NASA to really validate the safety of these cells, this will just help further reinforce the safety of these vehicles, but I think also really reinforce the safety to the general public because we believe this can be a mass market solution uh, for transportation. So when we talk about mass market, how big is that market potentially? And how does that break down across commercial applications versus military applications, since I know you're also working with DOD and Air Force versus other potential uh, businesses. So it's hard to say exactly how big the market can be. I always like to use the Morgan Stanley estimates because they're the biggest, um, but Morgan Stanley has re referenced a multi-trillion dollar market potential here. And so the first use application that I think will actually be the biggest use application is moving people around. And so today that's done with helicopters. So there is an existing market, but because these vehicles are so much safer than helicopters and much quieter than helicopters, and ultimately a much lower cost point than helicopters, they have this ability to really scale. But it doesn't just stop with moving people. There is certainly a large market um, in the defense side, as well as other places thinking about things like hospital systems or cargo logistics. So what does that mean in terms of, if, you have, if you're targeting delivery in 2025, do you have enough cash to get there? And what are the milestones and the levers, I guess, that need to get pulled to enable that? So Archer was very fortunate enough to raise a substantial amount of capital um, in our IPO. And then follow on, we've raised um, some additional capital as well. So the company is in a, a good place from a financial perspective. The industry used to be 500 players, and it's really consolidated down to just a few. And those few have really collected, I think, a lot of the capital, as well as some of the best partnerships out there, like the one that we just announced uh, today with NASA. I think a lot of the momentum is really building towards um, the certification of these vehicles and the launch um, coming up here with a goal targeted at 2025. And there's a lot of confidence that's really been driven to the market. Even with the regulators themselves, uh, the FAA has put out targets um, saying that they think they will be ready to have the eVTOL vehicles from their standpoint, um, the regulations in place by the end of 2024 to allow the companies to have a goal to begin to get to market in 2025. It's pretty incredible. We've been talking about flying taxis for years, but now we're on the cusp of actually potentially seeing them realized. Adam Goldstein of Archer, thanks so much for joining me. Thanks for having me.